Hi, my name is Shandra Vandry. My husband William and I founded a nonprofit called Vandry Hope Foundation. We like to work with chronic pain, traumatic brain injury, uh, legal blindness, PTSD in veterans, and poverty in Central Texas. We recently had the opportunity to go to VetFest here in Austin, Texas, and work with some veterans and their chronic pain. We have a product called St. Jude's Miracle Oil that we were able to apply, and we have some videos that's going to show you the results, so we hope you enjoy it. My name is John Smith, believe it or not, and uh, I was in both the Navy and the Army. I was a combat medic, um, a lot of jumps. Uh, I have survived several uh, aircraft crashes, uh, helicopters to be specific. I've uh, been exploded a few times. Um, a lot of, a lot of pain, a lot of damage. Show the squat and it's high You can't squat. Squat a little bit and stop when it hurts. You can't walk with the cane very well. I walk better with the cane. I yep. fall if I don't use it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, back up, up, go. Wow, I told you you can that. do it. You have to have faith, my friend. Now I'm impressed. Because <laughs> <laughs> that knee usually just goes, bam. No, no, <laughs> I, need, I needed it to kick in a little more for the yes. Okay, got anything for CHF? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes we do. <laughs> we do, yes. I believe back, neck, and knee pain gave me a lot more flexibility in just a few minutes. That was kind of a... Uh, Kind of interesting. Being a nurse for 30 years, a little skeptical about those okay. things, you know, more into the regular clinical side. But uh, I've been learning since I've been retired that there's a lot of other options. So I decided to give this a try, and it seems to be working really good, really quickly, actually. <laughs> yeah, so, oh. Your knee's fine. It's all right now. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. No, it's not crazy. It's, crazy. it's, it's a miracle. <laughs> it's called miracle oil. Dang it. <laughs> Lay healed. Retired Marine, medically retired. Uh, got lower back pain, knees. I got a titanium rod, 13 screws in my right leg. Uh, just been generally beat up my entire life. The pain level every day, like, like it some runs of between a seven and a, and a ten okay. from day to day. Like today, Yeah, today is pretty good. Pretty Doing the parade yesterday and and then standing on my feet today. Can you, um, first, I know you can't, but just, just better touch your toes and just stop that first a little bit. Sure. Okay. 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 And then, and then don't kill yourself, but just, just try to squat and stop it. Yeah. What's your most prominent? Uh, 
hit the lower back. Lower from my, basically from my hips to about mid back. That's further than I've ever reached in a long time. In how long? Tell the camera. Uh, see, I retired in 1989, so since 1989. <laughs> you haven't done that in a while. Nope, I have not done that in years. And as a matter of fact, the bending over thing I haven't done since probably 1989. Been in Marine Corps medically retired. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next round. Oh, what's in that snake oil, but it works. Thumbs up on that. Hoorah. Would you tell, would you suggest PTSD chronic pain vets? I would. I would suggest any veteran to try this out. Any and all veterans. Are you ready for this? Oh, holy cow. I've never seen. Yeah, I have to get a kid to pick up my tickets that I dropped the wallet. Oh, wow. oh my god. He's been over and touched the ground. Oh my god. Since 1989. Wow. My name is Thomas Cunningham. I'm retired Air Force. I did 20 years in the Air Force. I have chronic pain in my neck, uh, right temple. I have headaches every day. All the trapezoids are like locked up, uh, trigger points, I have weak, basically lost the strength in my right arm, the right hand, a little bit in the left hand, uh, pain through the left, or excuse me, right shoulder, and all the way down to the elbow. Center of the back, all the way down to the lower back, both sides, both hips. Uh, the right leg on the outside here has been numb for about a year, and then I have both both knees, the torn meniscus, and have problems with there, as well as both hips. I was fused from C4 to C5 and 6 the first time. Uh, took a bone from my right hip, put a plate in there, and uh, a year later I herniated C7, so fused me from C6 to C7. Uh, they put a cage and took bone from my left hip to put in there. I have the three discs that are bulging right now in the lower back. the legs and touch, touch, not your toes, touch the ground. Use it. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Okay. You're going to laugh at this one. Take it out a little bit. Look out. I know you haven't done this in forever because I know your knee. Right. Stick your butt out and slowly butt all the way down to your calves. Go, 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 go. Stop. Rock a little bit. Crab walk a little bit. You can't see it to believe it. <laughs> Amuse? Yes. <laughs> No. Well, you feel the pain, but well, you, it's well, not you have, stopping yeah, it like well, you, have, you can feel. Well, you feel more like if it was painful, you wouldn't be doing it. Right. it what it is, you feel loose because of the meniscus tear, so there's an inflammatory, but I've kind of killed a lot of inflammation, and it hasn't kicked in fully. You right. See, I've taken all your inflammation out, so now you can squat. You have the injury, but right. you, don't, you don't have the inflammation. Okay. Yeah. See that? <laughs> when was the last time you did that? It's been a long time. How long? How long is, when's the last time you could do that? Think about it. Years. Yeah, like years. like a lot of years. Do you yeah. know the date? What year? 10 years, 15, 20? Probably, I mean, I injured that over 10 years ago. So yeah. it's probably it's 10, years. 10 years. Tom Cunningham. I'm pain for almost 19 years and been here maybe two hours. Then, really don't have any pain. Thanks, Will. All right, neck, look left. Terrible right, horrible, look up. <laughs> oh, terrible, look down. 
Oh, jeez. Like, bend over. Oh, old man itis. Okay, yeah, fair enough, is. fair enough. Turn sideways. Oh. Do your arthritic squat. Man, see, you should have got your... your Oh, okay, a little better. All right. Mike Myers. Um, see, I've been working out. I, I've had uh, knee pain, knee surgery. I've had some uh, degenerative disc, uh, neck neck injuries. So, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Touch the toes. Oh, snap, man. This is crazy. <laughs> Hey, this is William Vandry. I'm talking to my friend, Mike Myers and stuff. We're gonna talk a little bit about some opioids and veterans and uh, Mike's opinion on a couple things. And Mike, you wanna introduce yourself and just yeah. tell who you are in the military, et cetera? Absolutely. Um, my name's Major Mike Myers. Uh, I'm active duty. I'm currently stationed at Fort Hood. Um, I'm on leave and I, I came came down here to talk to my good friend, William. Uh, he's a martial artist and, uh, and uh, he's also uh, a good friend and, Good friend of veterans. And uh, Mike, I got to meet uh, Shannon. I've got to meet with a congressman on the 21st of this month. I'm going to talk about opioids. We're going to talk about some stuff. Uh, what can a benefit or anything with our soldiers that I need to kind of work on, or or do you think I can help these guys if I can get some things on some alternatives of opioids with the military? Uh, yeah, I think I think uh, wh whatever you do when you when you go in and you you talk to them. I mean, um, you know, uh, guys over time, uh, you know, having served their country. <laughs> They go through, you know, various amounts of training, and, and with that training, unfortunately, uh, comes a lot of pain, um, and, and guys having to deal and manage manage their pain. So, um, you know, opioids is, is big. It's in it's in the news right now. It's something that yeah. um, you know uh, you don't want to get addicted to, but um, you know sometimes you're you're faced with that that hard challenge of you know choosing between you know the pain and the medication. Um, so if we can you know, taper down, uh, you know, the medication and, and deal with the pain, um, I think that's going to make for a better, a happier veteran, obviously, because it'll be pain-free. Right. And, um, you know, a lot of the things that you've been doing, um, at least with me or working with me, um, uh, have, have been uh, nothing short of a miracle. And, um, you know, uh, I can say personally that, uh, you know, I, I appreciate it and I, I think you're a, you're a friend to to the military, all all branches of service, and uh, you know I just can't say enough about what you've what you've done for me. So I appreciate it. Thank you, and also what you've done for our country, my friend. You've been a veteran. I think you were in Afghanistan, right? No, no, no. I deployed to Iraq. Iraq. I'm sorry. That's right. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, but but yeah. I mean, not a, it, not a lot of fun in that place here, stuff like that. So we got to thank these guys. And one of the things Shannon and I and our Vandy Hope do is we owe these guys some thanks, not just telling them thanks or something like that. Thank you for what you did for your service. How about let's do something else? How about let's get some results for these guys? That's what I'm aiming to do, and I'm going to work more with these guys. we got to keep these guys going because they're so important for us, our military, and our country, too. That's so, right, Mike. Yeah. Fair enough? Is that That's fair? fair enough for me. Right. I, I, like, I, I love what you guys are doing. I, I, you and Chandra are, are uh, you, you're great friends and to, to the military and, and to me, to me Absolutely. and my wife personally. Yeah, yeah. We're always there for you. You ever need us, right? Yes, sir. All right, sir. we're going to clock out that. That's a good point. Thank you, Mike. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, hi. My name is Ron Baker, and I'm a, uh, in the military. I was in for 12 years, and I'm in Vietnam. I was there 67, 68. I was a combat photographer during that time. And uh, now I'm presently involved with uh, as a commander of the DAV Chapter 5 Los Angeles. And um, I'm here, uh, hopefully, that I can find out that I really came because I was so excited to hear about having alternatives to pain. Right. And go ahead, can you um, real quick turn your, just show me you can't touch it. Okay, do it on the right side. And then show me how you can't touch your toes. Like when you try to bend over. Okay, and then try to squat. Show me you can't do that either. Okay, got it. Okay. And your pain level, you said, is you would say around six, or if yeah. it's like somebody else, it'd be a 10 level sometimes. Mm -hmm. And your pain's pretty. Where's all the pain sources right now? Well, it's in my back and in my bottom, um, you know, my left foot, and then in my 
arm and my leg. Okay, let's go to work. My name's John Pelletier, and I was injured in the DMZ in Korea on my back. Uh, I guess it's degenerating, and, and it's uh, about a, a seven feeling right now with pain. And I've endured it probably a 10 before, you know, for 50 years. And I work with it. Oh, that's it. John, can you try? I know you can't. Can you turn to try? Oh, I can turn my neck. Try to touch your shoulder. Uh, oh. It's a little tough. Okay, that's fine. Try the other side. Okay, try. Okay, stop. Okay, John, you don't. And just don't play yourself. Try to bend over and touch the phone. Oh, that's a different story. I know, I know, I know. But, but that's, I need to show you can't do it. Okay, so uh, just, okay, okay, good, that's fine. I, see, I want to show your limitations first, and then try to squat. And oh, that's, I know, I know, I know. Stop. You feel, okay, okay, good. I don't want to see, all I want to do is see all the case. Yeah, because okay. if I went further, I would be going, yeah, I know, I know, okay. Okay, good. I'm Ron Baker, I'm the commander of Chapter 5, Los Angeles. And I just wanted to tell you about how happy I am that I came to a got pain clinic here at the Post 43 American Legion this day. And John, who's my senior vice commander, who has a problem with his back tremendously, I do myself, but he is in more severe pain than me. And I was amazed for the first time I'm able to see him actually get up bend down, do things that I've never seen, and actually get out of the car. Usually he has to sit in the car and he'll get out. So I just really wanted to let everyone know that this is something that's really great if you really have pain. But the key to this whole thing is going to it and having the demonstration, but not using it will never work. So that's what I have to tell you. You have to use it, you have to apply it, and you have to do it. You can't do one time and then go and say, I feel great, go home and do like most 99% of the people would never do it. So that's what I have to say. And John, do you have anything to say? Yeah, let me get up. It's okay. the first time in a long time, just like that. Ooh, okay, <laughs> all right. You know, I really appreciate uh, doing what he did. I had, I just had my back injected by the VA, okay? And I don't want him to burn my nerves. So I decided to come here. And by chance, it was a miracle. I was in. I've been. I was in about a seven kind of mode, you know. Before when they injected me, I was down there to maybe a, a zero, but that only lasted temporarily. But this stuff that he put on my back about three hours ago, it's fantastic. I look at me. I couldn't. I usually have to have somebody help me get up, but I got up on my own thanks to this. And I problem. wanted to let you know that we got a supply right. here. That we're leaving with it. so we are going to use it okay so we we are definitely going to use it and when john is going to have his wife put it on him i'm having my wife and it's going to make me sleep better make me feel better and i feel better already what do you say i say the same thing okay thank you Peter. all right thank you so much Well, William, thank you and Shannon for meeting with me today, and we appreciate uh, what you're doing to help our nation's veterans as well as our current military men and women who uh, sacrifice for us daily to uh, keep our country safe. Uh, it sounds like you've come up with some great ideas on how to deal with some of the current issues of the time related to PTSD, uh, opioid abuse, and chronic pain management. Uh, we um, are going to uh, uh, try to find uh, folks within the VA and also within the military that uh, may be interested in visiting with you uh, to deal with these issues. So thank you for coming today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, awesome.
John, congratulations on the victory. This is the biggest card of the year. It's your first title defense. How sweet is this moment for you? Um, it's, it's fantastic. It's a big deal for me defending my title. Um, uh, I've been dealing with a lot of medical over the years. Um, a bulging disc in my neck. I got a funny reading on my brain MRI before this fight. Uh, this, this is a good chance this was my last fight. John Fitch, having trouble with my neck. Hello, John Fitch, it's uh, December 5th. Um, my anxiety levels have dropped off to pretty much zero. I'm much more relaxed right now, less stressed. Um, my pain is dropped down to like a level one. Um, I barely notice it. I can uh, I can rotate my head back to the right like this, and I barely feel any type of tingling in my fingers. Where uh, two weeks ago I got heavy like shocks to send down to those fingers. So there's definitely something going on, something happening. Um, my neck is still sore, but it. Uh, it's sore in a different way, I think, because I'm readjusting my spine and keeping my shoulders back and and uh, doing exercises to strengthen and realign my my, uh, my uh, spine the way it's supposed to be. I think there's a little bit of soreness in there. I've also been doing traction, uh, and that I think has helped stretch the neck and take pressure off of it and allow things to heal. So um, things seem to be going well. I'm Angie Cola and I I was in a car accident and it left me paralyzed from the chest down. I don't feel any pain right now. On my lower back, my neck, or my shoulders, I feel really, really loose and normal and I haven't felt like that in a long time. My torso feels stronger. It doesn't it doesn't feel so lumpy like it normally does. I haven't been able to stretch this part in a long time. Five years that I've been paralyzed. Wow. Um, and right now I feel really energized. If I was able to walk, I'd probably go run a couple miles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I so good to hear. I feel really, it, I feel happy inside. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> good. I, feel really, really good. I used to have to write with both of my hands because I didn't have the pressure to push down. And after using the oils on my hands and rubbing and massaging, I was able to write with just my right hand. It's been five years. And normally I have to have my mom sign for me because, you know, I can't, I don't have the pressure in my hand. But right now I just wrote all that and it looks normal it's just i'm speechless can you write a thank you note to my wife and i and just say thank you william and chandra for showing me i can overcome paralysis i feel like a million bucks right now <laughs> really really good it's almost like a natural natural high it just feels naturally good <laughs> 